Hello team, how's it going? Welcome to Combat Ready HQ and welcome to today's newest video where we are looking at how HMS Queen Elizabeth compares to India's newest aircraft carrier. So India has a new aircraft carrier. This video is a year old, so this aircraft carrier is a year old. So and um, be very interesting to see how it does compare to the British counterpart. Uh, obviously, Britain and India have worked very closely for a number of years. So, and I've done quite a few videos now on the Indian military, and I found it very interesting and quite interesting how techno technologically advanced they are. Um, you know, they have quite a powerful military, and it's been very interesting and very exciting to learn about it all. Um, as always, though, you can check out the original video, which is by Forces News, in the description. Please check out our free Discord as well. Come and join the community. Come and chat to everyone. Give YouTube video ideas. Chat about fitness, sport, absolutely anything, and obviously the military as well. We've got people from all around the world in it. Check us out on Instagram as well, and check out the Combat Ready Coffee and the Tactical Warrior gear at our website as well. But as always, comment below what your thoughts are and let's get into it. Finest Viker has given full control of the ceremony in the southern somehow just injured in flagship compared to Great Britain's Queenism. 262 meters long, width of 62. Not much difference in that, is there? 45,000 tons is just insane weight, is there? Oh, 20. So it was only what? 8 meters longer, 8 meters wider, but it's added 20,000 tons to it. So, not much difference sort of when it comes to the length and width. Um, so, 280 meters and 70 meters wide, 262 meters um, and 62 meters wide. So, oh, sorry, it's 18 meters different. I thought it was eight. Sorry, quick maths. Um, so, there is, yeah, a good nearly 20 meters in length difference, um, which added an extra. 20,000 tons. Um, obviously, that could be to do with materials, engine, what's inside. Um, they didn't go too in depth on what's actually inside, which is a little bit annoying. Obviously, I'm guessing there's you know classified and secrecy um, to do with some of it. Um, 20,000 tons is an awful lot of difference in weight. Um, it's just amazing how much ships actually weigh and they just sort of glide through the water, didn't they? 45,000 tons, 65,000 tons. Then we had the cost. So 13 years is obviously a long time, but it's an incredible ship and it takes a long time to build at only a cost of two and a half billion. I say only um, when it's see the UK of 6.2 billion. So 3.7 billion um, pounds difference. Obviously, once again, they did it quicker. Um, 
you so you think it would actually cost less but once again it you don't know the difference between materials what systems are inside obviously you've got 18 meters longer eight meters wider and um, so that's going to cost more um plus we all know that the brits we get overcharged for absolutely everything so someone most probably could have got this for around three billion three and a half billion but signed a contract for the for their friend at 6.2 um but yeah so quite a bit difference in costs then we've got top speed 28 knots 25 plus knots so you know the Vicon is actually a little bit faster possibly um and then range was very similar and then you've got different aircraft so they've got 30 aircraft um, and then for the extra 18 meters and 8 meters width I think it was 40 aircraft wasn't it? you can get an extra 10 aircraft which does make a difference um, 10 sort of fighter jets F-35s in the air can make a hell of a difference to a battle um, so obviously that really does help the Brits there so very interesting well done to India um, on you know you know having their first aircraft carrier um, absolutely brilliant just once again showing um, what sort of superpower they are becoming um, you know they are great military and I've learned a lot over the last few months um, and I very really really enjoyed it uh, and it's just another thing I you know that they've added to their arsenal um, to help them around the world what with only sort of you know self-defense of their nation but obviously you know when helping other nations as well in support of hopefully fingers crossed it doesn't ever kick off but india is you know is allies to many and they are to the brits so you know it's, it's very good to know that you know not many countries out there very many nations actually have aircraft carriers i think it's less than 10 um, nations in the world it could be even less than five but less than 10 have aircraft carriers uh, and india is one of them so really enjoyed that video i'm not surprised by the cost uh, at all um, but you never know you don't know you don't have a clue what sort of systems um, you know engine materials have been used to get that cost up um, so far 4 billion 3.7 billion is quite a bit um, but 30 aircraft or Indian aircraft carrier can carry which is pretty decent um, like I said even 30 could do um, very well in supporting some sort of form of battle um, air battle if it needed to so hope you enjoyed the video Please, as always, comment below what your thoughts are and I'll see you soon.